guys. What's up? Number one, I'm going to have to apologize that the stream quality is probably not going to be that great again. I haven't had a chance to fix it. But hey, guys, it's an unboxing. I got stuff here. Tons of stuff. This isn't even all of it. <laughs> it's most of it, but it's not all of it. Uh, still missing a couple. But yeah, I'll wait until a few people come in. Pretty impromptu. In the meantime, it uh, looks like my, my OOM9 took a shelf dive, so he's just chilling right there. I am live. I am live, Goten. I am live. How's your leg? Oh, yeah, I get to show it on the on the channel. This is uh, my everyday life for the next three to five weeks. <laughs> Not fun. Looking like Mad Max. I've shown it on Instagram, but yeah. Slipped on ice. Not fun. Don't recommend. Um, <clears throat> me who is up late. Well, 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 dude, it's not that late. It's a little late, but not that late. Um, yeah, I got stuff. This is my desk, by the way. Um, I actually, this got full, but I, uh, <laughs> I, um, cleared it out. Most of this stuff is stuff that like goes on the shelf, but I need to get the step ladder. Like, say there's a, that Cyberverse Starscream I got in the P.O. box, and then there's a Cyberverse uh, Slug. They're up there, so I'm, I am I can't put stuff like that away. Uh, <laughs> you had, like, 12 boxes. I had five. Um, I should have one or two more here soon. Um, and some of this stuff, actually, uh, my brother ordered it for me, uh, and I'll be seeing him hopefully next weekend. So that, that'll be exciting. I'm a little tired. Long day at work. <laughs> having to uh, having to work with this is not fun. Um, I see your coronation throne. Oh yeah. No, I actually st I have the star scream. Uh, he's actually on my desk. I'm still messing with him. Uh, but I still I I just I'm gonna put the throne on the shelf at some point. Um, but yeah. I guess we'll get to it. We have 26 people watching. Um, I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to do this. I guess I'll use a box. One of these boxes. I didn't even think this through. We'll use a box as a uh, as a support here. I got to apologize for the lighting. I didn't want to blind myself. So I'm only using one light. Maybe we don't even need a light, do we? Nah, we don't need a light. It's just a live stream. Who cares if it's not super bright? Um... Oh, yeah, you did send me pictures of your sauna chew. Oh, my gosh. Do you prefer phase one or phase two clones? Probably phase two. Uh, but, yeah, let's uh, let's figure this out. Uh, what do we do in an unboxing video? We unbox. How are the kitty cats? They're all right. First thing. One got shipped in an envelope. So we'll see. Number one, which one this is. Number two, if it survived. Okay. So if you don't know, Walmart made this an exclusive, made this exclusive vintage collection series of Tartakovsky. <laughs> and if you don't know, the Clone Wars Tartakovsky series is my absolute favorite Star Wars thing ever. So I ordered all of them. There was a couple I ordered multiples of. Uh, this one is very likely, um, there's a few of these we should have. Um, I'll, I'll need to make sure, because I'll keep one card, it'll open one up. Uh, well, I, I don't want to spoil what else we got, but yeah. Should be more of that. Um, no, that's all that's in there. So that's one. It's one down. Okay. I have a decent amount of small soldiers. Decent amount. Sorry if I missed some comments, I'm trying. We're mostly here to unbox. I didn't bring a Zacto knife, so I don't know if I'll actually open any on the stream. I might go fetch it. I'll probably fetch it. I probably should have. Um, I'm, Of course, there is always that worry because it's Walmart. I am significantly worried that I did not get everything I ordered. But we shall see. All right. This one is... Juddy. Um, so I would not have bought any of the Jedi if they were not on card backs featuring the artwork from the show. 
but yeah, Barisafi, the jerk, the 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 traitor. So yeah, there's three female Jedi in this line. There's Luminara, Barris, and Ayla. Uh, my Luminara and Ayla should come tomorrow, uh, but I do. Uh, I'm going to keep these on the card. I have no real reason to open them up. It's not like, oh, yeah, I need the same figures I've had for 10 years, but now with slightly better faces. Nah, I, the, these are for the presentation. I mean, look at that. It has the logo with the crosshairs on it. Oh, mwah, 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 mwah. Love it. Heck, yeah, I'm going to get the new vintage collection 500 first. Are you kidding? I think I ordered, like, two of it uh, just because... Um, you know, need to bulk out that army a little bit. I have so much packing material. I just, I gotta get rid of it. Gotta get rid of it. I'm afraid. I'm so afraid. Um, so, I know what should be in the rest of the boxes. Um, actually, I'll use this box as the stand since it's empty. Because then, do 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 let's reposition. do 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 that's actually where I keep my book. I'm being dead serious. That's where I keep my book. This is another one. What's inside? What's inside? Who's inside? I hope it's not messed up. I'm so worried I didn't get all the ones I ordered. I'm so worried. I have a strong feeling that I did not. Just because. Just because it's Walmart. You know, you can't you can't have an easy time with Walmart. I was shocked these actually shipped on the estimated dates. I was like, whoa, I'm actually getting these when they said I would get them? That's crazy. This should be, yup. So, this is exciting. Ooh, I got one. I should be getting my second tomorrow. Ooh, that looks nice. <laughs> Sorry, I just looked at it first. Arc Trooper Captain Fordo. Oh, man. So, definitely keeping one carded. Uh, this is one I'm not going to open until I get mine tomorrow because I want to see which one's better, better box, better paint. Because um, I'm looking at the paint on his helmet right now and it doesn't seem to be 100% perfect. I mean, it's it's close. It's it's good. I love how they did the paint on these, though. I love how they actually fully painted the front of the helmet instead of just most of instead of just the stripe. Uh, they did actually correct the shoulder pads and I'm so happy because the preliminary images just showed little stripes on the shoulders when with the ARC Troopers and the art design, their whole shoulder pad is colored. So they did fix that. Very, very exciting. Very exciting. But of course, you can't have Captain Fordo without some ARC Troopers. <laughs> uh, so let's see. Let's see. Which one's heavier? Which one's heavier? Okay, this one's not as heavy, I'm pretty sure. So this is the moment of truth here. If I got all the figures I ordered. Oh, actually, before I open that, I got a... It's because I hate having a mess. That's, that's probably the worst thing about uh, unboxings, is all the mess you make. I see where I work. I work at retail, so whenever I do the trucks, I'm just so overwhelmed with all the boxes. I'm like, ah, stop. Too many boxes. So, this should be, given the weight and the content. Ugh. Come on. Dude, cut! You saw how many times I cut that. You can see this tape they use. It uses, like, this ribbon in it of some sort. Yeah, that's what I thought. Ooh, I'll take that. Ooh. Two more battle droids. Maybe you're wondering, OJ4, why do you need so many battle droids? Well, let me tell you. Let me tell you something. So one I'm going to keep carded and one I'm going to open up. The third one is not for me. The third one's for my brother because he's a battle droid collector. So when I ordered him, I just hit three and I'm like, hey, I got you a battle droid. So when I see him, uh, he will give me some ARC Troopers, <laughs> and I will give him a Battle Droid. So yeah, so far we got three Battle Droids, even though one's not mine. We got the uh, OPOG himself, and we got Barris. 
And I probably will not do an unboxing for what I'm getting tomorrow, which should be my other Fordo, Luminara, and Ayla. Hopefully those cards come out okay, because all these cards are pristine. Okay, last box. Saving it till last. This should have the boys in it. <laughs> Fingers crossed. It's heavy enough. It's heavy enough. It should. But we shall see. So I'm a maniac. Um, actually, before I even open this box, let me let me do some story time. So I posted about this on Instagram, but I want to talk about it here. I um, sometimes dream about action figures, okay? We're all guilty of it. And sometimes what I dream of, I dream of like walking into a store and seeing something like this. And like, like look at this. Just look at this. A vintage collection Captain Fordo with the original cartoon artwork of his very first appearance, the very first scene you see him in. Like, look at this figure and tell me this isn't sublime. Uh, so I dream about that. And I also dream about going to places like museums and aquariums and all that. Uh, I just love those kind of environments. And uh, over last summer, I went to the Newport Aquarium, uh, pretty much in Cincinnati, uh, with my brother, um, his wife, and myself. We were just hanging out, and we were we sat down to eat. And my brother's like, oh my gosh, look at what they just revealed. All of this stuff. And let me tell you, that felt like a dream. Like, it's seriously, I, I felt like I was living in a dream. It's not like a dream come true, you know, but like, I felt like I was living in a dream. I was like, pinch me, I'm, I must be dreaming. Because this stuff is amazing, and... I'm very happy I was able to get it stress-free. I should have five ARC troopers in here. <laughs> because when these went up for order, I, I made a decision. And my wallet's definitely hurting right now because of that decision. But I was like, I want to have as many ARC troopers as appeared in the show. Um, basically, I wanted the Munless 10. So I'm like, I want 10 ARC troopers. Let's make it 11 because I want one carded. So I think maybe 11 tops appeared, but I'm not that picky. Basically, I'm like, give me the Munalist 10, give me 10 ARC Troopers. 10 ARC Troopers to open, a Captain Fordo to open, and one of each to keep in the box. So, like I said, there should be five ARC Troopers in here. <sighs> I'm already seeing three or four. Um, and you may be wondering, oh, there's only five. I thought you said you ordered ten. Well, I did. But the thing is, oh my gosh, did you see that? They're going down, down. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Isn't that funny? <laughs> at least it didn't go. But yes, um, there should be five. My brother, uh, I w we were frantic, obviously, ordering these because they did not last long. And my brother was like, you know, he was helping me out. <laughs> And what Walmart does for pre-orders, they basically charge your account when you place the pre-order. But it's basically they're putting a hold on your account, making sure you have enough money for what you're ordering. I did not have enough money in my account for other pre-orders that happened in the day, as well as these. So I was like, oh my gosh, I, I only got five ARC Troopers. I couldn't do all ten. My brother's like, okay, I got you, I got you. He got me six, so he should be getting six. They shipped out. Let's take a look. Let's take a look at my five. Let's hope I got five. Ooh. Ooh, look at that. Oh man, the paint's not perfect. I can tell it's a little off to the side. Um, same with Fordo. It's actually uh, just as goofed up as Fordo. And they do, they are straight up repaints of Fordo too. So they have his pistols and everything. I'm going to keep a couple of them totally pure with the pistols, but I'm going to snip off the uh, the holsters for probably eight of them. <laughs> okay, there's one. Let's hope the next one has better paint. Oh, yeah, it's, it's better. A little better. There's two. This card's a little, little worse for wear. There's two. Oh, man. Dream come true. Literally. Here's three. 
the paint's not too bad. It's definitely like not abysmal or anything. It's not like totally off to the side like my Bad Batch Rex was. There's three. Let's hope one of these cards is in good enough shape for me to decide, okay, that's the one I'll keep carded. That one definitely won't be. Here's four. Oh, man. I love that. Okay, so um, that scene right there where the ARC Trooper, like, gets up on the rooftop and he's going... Pow, pow, pow. There was... that. What's that... Is it is it Requiem for a Dream? Is that what it is? Um, it's like that. Da -da 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 da 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 I, It's that song that was like everywhere in the in the late two thousands. Um, there was a uh, like an epic edit that I saw as a kid of the Ark Troopers with that song, and I just see that and I'm like da 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 da. Okay, there's four. Um, how did you get so much? I ordered a lot. <laughs> that's how I that's how I got so much. And here's five. This card's are definitely a little a little bent. Yeah, I would say the paint's pretty solid. Pretty solid paint. Yeah, I wish I wish my new phone when I'm doing live streams would focus in better. I mean, it's kind of focused. It's not crisp, but you can like see what's going on. So I don't love this mold. It's not my favorite clone trooper mold, but I've always said it works really good for phase one. So I'm definitely, definitely okay with this. <laughs> definitely pretty happy with it. This is a dream come true, man. I'm going to arm them all up differently. I'll have one with a mini gun, you know, rifle, DC-15 rifles and carbines. Arc trooper rifles, I think I've got a couple of those. I'll have two with the pistols. I'll keep two with the pistols. Um, okay, I think that's it. Uh, all right, yep, yeah, that's it for that box. So, what we got? <laughs> My first haul, I got everything. We're good. Look at all these vintage collection figures, man, I'm loving it. Three battle droids. So this is most of it. Like I said, I'm just waiting on three that I'm getting tomorrow, and my brother should be getting six ARC Troopers <laughs> for me. So I got my first round of ARCs. <laughs> Dude, this is so exciting. I can't I can't contain my excitement. Oh, five ARC Troopers. Oh, my gosh. Okay, let me... Do you know how to make me happy? Show me... Me these <laughs> just show me these i don't know if you knew i i said earlier in the stream the tartakovsky star wars clone wars series not the clone wars star wars clone wars my absolute favorite piece of star wars media so this is kind of hype for me just a little bit just a little bit dude look at all those arcs look at them <laughs> and i got six more Oh, man. Let's get Fordo right there. We'll put Barris right at the end. Look at that. Oh, my gosh. Oh. Oh, man. Look at all those ARC troopers. Oh, man. Is this Clone Wars canon? Who cares about canon, man? I don't, I don't care. Uh, basically, the new The Clone Wars show uh, chose to not contradict the old Clone Wars whatsoever. So, if you want it to be canon, man, there you go. doesn't have to be official or anything. It's whatever. You know? Yeah, truly epic. You got that right, Rust Belt. Look at this. Yeah, no wonder Walmart's out of stock. Uh, I'm very happy, though, that Walmart was able to fulfill these orders. Because, see, the thing is, and, and I'm hoping these appear in stores well enough, too, because some people may look at this and they, they may be like, man, you're hoarding them all. Why do you have, why are you going to get, like, 11 ARC Troopers when I can't even find one? Number one, man, you had to be there. If you were there when they went up for order, you would have been able to get one. I'm just saying. Unfortunately, not everyone's available when these things go up for order, because the order window, I think for these ARC Troopers, lasted maybe, maybe 10, 15 minutes. 
not too long. But man, I okay. So for the record, I think the only paper that will surpass these in the amount I have is going to be the Saga Collection 212. I think I have about 20 of that figure. I'm going to count right now. I'm going to be one of those losers that counts out loud. Uh, <laughs> one, two, three. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 16-ish. I'm not good with counting for the record. I'm not good at all. Well, one, two, three, four, five. Wait, I lose count all the time, too. Oh, wait, I missed some. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, and I have one carded. So, yeah, I have about twenty. I have twenty Saga Collection 212. That's the most of any clone trooper I have. But this guy, I think, will be second with 11 after I get my, my next batch. Oh, man. Um, whew. Last Jedi is the best Star Wars movie ever made. Yeah, dude, it's so deep and philosophical. It's amazing. So, do you guys want me to open any? Can I do a poll? I don't think so. It would be cool if I could. I don't, I don't think it will let me do a poll. Um, it would be cool if it would. I'd be like, hey, do you want me to open some right now? Yeah, I am joking. Last Jedi is not the best. Captain Grey matches 442nd Troopers in color. Ooh, interesting. I'll uh, keep that in mind. Fantastic Tints is open. Open them all. I'm not going to open them all. Uh, Bear stays carded. She'll stay carded. I need to determine which battle droid. I think my brother's keeping one carded. So I need to look at these and think. Okay, that's a pretty pristine card right there. Um, that one's got a bit of a crease in it. This one has some nibs in the side. I don't think he's too worried about card condition, though. Even though the crease isn't too bad on that. No, not really. That's basically non-existent. Okay, I'll give my brother the most pristine card because I'm a nice guy. This will be my carded battle droid. Because, dude, I like this collection is... I hope they do another wave. <laughs> I hate to say it, but I hope they do. Um, Black Series Fordo, yeah, that, that should be... I, I ordered two of that to keep one in the box and one to open. Because I really like the uh, these throwback figures. I've got Echo carded because I just love that throwback packaging. Um, so, yeah, we'll we'll talk about that Fordo when that happens. Okay, so this will be the droid that I open. I'll open him. Now, can I find an Arc Trooper with a good enough card? That one's pretty pristine. That's a contender right there. That's a contender. For a carded boy. How about that one? That's also a contender. A little warped though. So he, he's like second place. This one definitely not. That's very warped. And it's got a big old crease. That'll get opened. Uh, <laughs> I feel like such a such a snob whenever I inspect the packaging. Ooh, that one. It's got a little nib right there. Got a little nib right there. I'm like a, I'm like a comic grader. Dude! VC212! Oh my gosh! It's VC212! Oh my gosh! That's so cool! Oh man, it's not a 212th trooper, obviously, but it's one of my favorite clones. So that's just perfect. Black Series uh, Black Chrysanthemum, I did see it. Um, I mean, it's the comic one. I don't get the hate. They'll do Book of Boba Fett. They'll do it. Just be patient, <laughs> you know? Um, and then I'm not going to open this Fordo yet because I need to see the condition of the other card. This one's pretty pristine, though, but I'm not going to open him until I know what my other one's going to be like tomorrow. So he'll stay carded as well. Okay, which... Yeah, I can't wait. What I'm thinking I'm going to do... 
I have, ooh, knocked into the box. I have my gunship loaded up with like older ARC troopers. I'm thinking I'm going to take them out and I'm going to load up that gunship with all the, uh, the figures that I'm getting here. That's my plan. That's my plan, man. Uh, do you want them to reissue the ARC trooper gunship? Yeah, heck yeah. I think more people should get that. I have it. I'm not going to, I wouldn't buy a reissue, but that's something that people should have. Okay. I'm thinking called inspect the flatness. That's pretty flat. Wouldn't you say it's pretty flat? Pretty rascal flats. I don't know, man. This is something that, like I'm going to keep for a very long time in my life. So I want to make sure it's nice and pristine. Ooh, I, I cut into that one. I forgot. <laughs> I cut into that one when I opened the box. So he's not a contender. I'll open him. Um. So yeah, I think I think I found my carded arc. I think it'll be him. He'll be my carded one. So it's kind of sad. I'm only opening half of these figures tonight. But hey, I'm opening four arcs and a battle droid. Um. Yeah, I'm getting the VC TVC 500 first. Jeez, kind of a silly question. Hey, JCC2224, the clone trooper fanatic. Are you going to get the new clone trooper? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> TVC Chris Chan. Yeah, TVC Chris Chan win. Actually, no, we need a uh, Chris Chan evolution set with like... Uh, <laughs> I shouldn't even be talking about this. Chris Chan evolution set. The first one is like the classic shirt. Second one is like, you know, say 2017, 2018 Chris Chan. And the third one is just prison outfit. <laughs> Where'd you pick these up from? They are Walmart exclusive. Um, the start of the video, all of them are in Walmart boxes. Uh, so, yeah, Walmart. Eh. Sorry, you're seeing a little bit of the Walmart logo. I can't help it. Yeah, we need TVC snoots. Name YouTubers you want in TVC, everyone. YouTubers in TVC? Bro, I don't know, man. Me. Put me in, in TVC. Is the gunship idea going to include the Obi-Wan Trooper figure? Probably not. Uh, he actually makes zero sense being in that gunship. I just liked him in there. So I'll probably put him elsewhere. Um, are these figures worth scalper prices? Oh, man, I already paid out the ass for these. My, Like I said, my wallet's really hurting. I looked at my bank account and I'm like, yikes. Um, but man, this is this is like a once in a lifetime opportunity for me. I love this part of Star Wars. And I, I'm just like, yeah, I, I need it. I need it, man. Um, it's not too late. If you guys are looking at these and thinking, oh man, I missed out. It's not too late. These things haven't really hit retail quite yet. And uh, Captain Fordo and a couple others actually went back up for order. So there is a chance that, you know, the Blue Arc Trooper may go back up. Other figures might go back up. Just stay tuned. Watch the pages. Watch Walmarts. Look at sightings. See if anyone's seeing anything in Walmart stores. Because there's a possibility. There's a possibility that you might be able to get them. It's not too late. Is Book of Boba Deluxe worth the price? Um, the Black Series, heck no. Um, the Vintage Collection, I would say the Book of Boba Fett version is. With the with the flame effects and the beat-up Stormtrooper helmets, I would say that one is. Not so much the, uh, the Mandalorian Deluxe version. I wouldn't say that one is. Yeah, we need TVC. <laughs> oh, you retracted the comment. I'm still going to say it. I don't like sand. Yeah, we need TVC EDP. <laughs> we need it. Um, what accessories would he come with? Cupcake, obviously. I just came to pick up a cupcake. What a dork. What an idiot. <laughs> yeah, the beat-up Stormy helmets are neat. Um, I hope the uh, Vintage Collection ones are interchangeable. Um, were these online only? Uh, initially, the pre-orders were, and the pre-orders went up. Jeez. Um, I want to say... June or July, because they went up before I started my new job. Um, I want to say early July, perhaps, is when the pre-orders went up for this. So we've waited 
geez, let's just say all of July, August, September, October, November, December, January, February. We have waited eight months since we pre-ordered these to get them. Eight months. That's insane. Eight months. Jeez. Ridiculous. So, yeah, if you weren't there eight months ago, um, hopefully they'll go back up. It's never too late. JC, are you getting the TVC arcs? Nah, man. Nah. No, I don't think I'm going to get them. <laughs> okay. What I'm going to do... Um, I'll take you with me, but I'm not going to show you anything. Because I don't want to show you my house, because that's kind of awkward. I'm getting up. And yes, I have to groan when I get up. I'm wearing a leg brace. I'm waddling. Waddling to my desk. I'm getting there. Are you going to get TVC Sergeant Cody in the 104th? Yeah. JC, are you getting the new clone figure? Yeah. Okay, let me grab that knife. If you're hearing those thuds, I seriously walk that labored. <laughs> Dude, having a brace stinks. Um, you getting TVC Book of Boba Fett? No, man. Did you notice that they flipped the ammo pouch for the Black Series Black Arc? Because we all know they didn't for Fordo. Has Repulse valid for TVC? I guess it's valid. Guess what? We're back. We're back. I don't think we need this box anymore. We can get rid of that. All right. I got boxes I got to take care of, too. That's fun. Uh, I want to start collecting clones. Where should I start? Oh, man. <laughs> it's kind of sad. When people ask, hey, I want to start collecting clones, because a part of me wants to say, man, it's just so hard. It's just so hard. Save yourself the grief. Don't do it. <laughs> but if you really have a passion, if you really want to, um, I would say uh, start older ones like Revenge of the Sith. They're cheaper. They're not as much of a pain to get. I would start with that. Anyways, I guess we'll... I'm not going to open all of them. Uh, hey, yo, he got Halo stuff. Yeah, I got... Um, I still have to build it. Um, I got this ages ago. I got tons of Halo stuff. I have a whole playlist on the channel about Halo stuff, if you want to check that out. Uh, not really into the games. We'll never be into the games. You cannot convince me to be in the games. Uh, Hot Toys boot. <laughs> Putin. <laughs> Hot Toys Putin and Biden. Oh my gosh. Hey dude, why you have Halo stuff? Because I like armored, colorful space soldier men, and Halo has that as well. So, yeah. Okay, we'll open, we'll open this ARC Trooper. He'll be my first. Dude, there's... <laughs> okay, so part of me looks at all these in the box, and I'm like, man, I just want to... I just want to see, like all 10 of my arc troopers in the box it's like should i wait but no i'm not i'm not gonna wait i'm not gonna wait do not wait don't worry i will expedite the clone corner for these and i probably will do a review talking about the other ones but they're not gonna i'm not even gonna open them up it's just gonna be a showcase i guess so yeah let's open one i'm gonna i got uh I got to be careful here, so I'm not going to be able to look at the chat for a minute. Uh, first step is to PS. And then run your knife flat. People ask, how do you keep your vintage collection cards looking nice? Even though I'm going to have multiple of this card, I'm still going to preserve as many as I can. I could just tear into them. I mean, it really doesn't matter. I'm going to have so many. But still, I, I like the card. Ooh. At least one I'm looking decent. Ooh, 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 ooh. Almost just got to saw the bottom. Oh my goodness. First arc trooper's almost out. First arc trooper's out. Almost. And he's out. Okay. And he's out. 
The green gobbler destroyed my sanity. Now I survive on lean. Have you seen that? Dude, Crackback is the worst channel on YouTube, right? But it's hilarious. I love that video, the lean goblin, <laughs> where Thanos goes to the bathroom and then green goblin's just like, I smell lean. You guys should try some. It's so stupid. Be careful. Yeah, I should probably be careful. I don't want to break any of these. Oh, man. So, unfortunately, Jedi Temple Archives spoiled this for me because they made this their picture for the figure. But I was wondering what they would do for the head on this guy. I don't think it's going to focus too well. I was wondering what they were going to do for the heads. What do you guys think? Before I take that helmet off, what do you think is going to be underneath? What do you reckon? Do, 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 do. What is gonna be underneath this helmet? I'm really curious. I wonder if it will be. I'm gonna have so many extras of those pistols. Joe Biden. 500 first TVC, fives. Um, another helmet. Globe? Yeah, globe. There will be a globe. Damn, this man is packed. Talking about me? Yeah. Oh, it's C.T. Bill. I didn't realize who said it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, dude. Yeah, C.T. Bill. I'm packed. Chad. You think Chad's going to be under the helmet? Well, you're kind of not wrong. So what they did, since this is a straight-up repaint of the original Vintage Collection Arc Trooper Commander, uh, he's just got Fordo's face. All these have the old Fordo face. Isn't that interesting? It's not in focus too well. But yeah, all of them have the goatee. All of them have the old Fordo haircut. <laughs> Every single one. Um, I don't really mind. It's whatever. It is face printed, though. It looks good. It looks nothing like Tamora Morrison, but... Um, it, it is a shame that it's not the, uh, the more modern head sculpt. Um, I wish it would have been, but you know, it's all good. You can see though, this helmet, oh, you can especially see on that chin there. You see that on the chin, how off the black is. I mean, it's not that off though. This is probably the worst helmet out of all of them. And it's hardly even noticeable. Like that's not really much of a problem. It's Ait. Pretty happy with that. You, I hate Clon Treeper. Here's someone that had an interesting... Uh, not gonna lie, everyone having Fordo has super lame. Even if 90% of the time you'll keep the helmet on. Yeah, it's... Oh, it's not a deal breaker for me, obviously. I'm still very happy with these. But it's... Uh, it, it is what it is. I gotta say, though, the mold... Feels fine for being 10 years old. Ooh, they actually painted the black right there for once. That's nice. JC, would you get a 6-inch blue arc trooper or 6-inch gunner arc? I would get any single black series clone trooper. They do. I'm all in on black series clone troopers. Uh, black series anything else, I couldn't care less. But I, I, even though I do have to say I'm getting the black series dark trooper. I'm getting that just because I love dark troopers. Like, heck, I'm even looking at that Lego helmet that was revealed, and I'm like, oh, that looks cool, too. But no, I don't need a freaking Lego helmet of a Dark Trooper. But I'm getting the Hot Toys. Okay, so there's one Arc Trooper. There's one freed from his plastic prison. Ah, uh, jeez, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Let's open another. Uh, now imagine when you open them, the cards were ruined with water damage. Oh, no! Thankfully, it didn't rain today, so I would have been heartbroken. Okay, I got to do this, though. Ah, he's got the classic Star Wars figure smell. Wow. Perfect. Perfecto. Man, I can't wait to get the whole squad. Well, I do have to wait. I have to wait, like, a week. <laughs> but it's all good. I'm not even opening this on camera. What's wrong with me? It's easier to cut with a hobby knife closer to your body. It's funny, all of the knife rules say cut away from your body, cut far away, like don't cut close to your body. But hobby knives are totally different. You know, it's like cut towards yourself, cut close to your body. It's hilarious. 
Like, it's genuinely hilarious how hobby knives work. But you, you just gotta be careful. Like, you can see, look at how I cut this. It's not my first rodeo. I've opened many a vintage collection figure with a hobby Zacto knife. Just gotta be careful. Here, I could probably cut into it a little deeper. Yeah, there we go. Oop, hanging on by a thread. Hanging on by a thread. Imagine seeing this on the pegs. Whoa, it's an ARC Trooper. Ah, oh, jeez. I'm sure people are going to steal these. Well, not like you can even find them, but I'm sure some people will just want to be a thief. Okay, ARC Trooper number two. And yes, I still think I'm going to end up cutting the, uh, the holsters off of... Maybe not, maybe not eight of them, but a fair amount will not have the holsters because they shouldn't have the holsters. But first we have to go over this important information. Will Cody be in Kenobi? It'd be cool if he was. Oh yeah, the Sith Trooper that was ripped off the card um, that I found at Walmart. That's funny. Had to read this important information. Warning, choking hazard, small parts, not for children under three years. Attention, danger, de, de toothment. <laughs> Petites pieces, ne convenient, pass ox, infants, de moines, de three ands. Atch tongue, or stick on skifar, for kinder under three jaren, nicht. Gigant da Kleintil and Thalenten Sind Advertencia Peligro de Asphyxia Pizaz U Pizaz Pequines no convinte para niños menores de three años a ten cow Perigo de I'm not even trying. <laughs> You can't even read it either. It's funny. Jeez, do we need it in every single language? Like, what kind of... Do totally being an American here, what kind of text even is that? I've never even... What what text is that? You can't even see it. It doesn't matter. But Okay, Arc Trooper number two. And he's Fordo again. But still, pretty epic. Pretty epic. You are the best, the elite. You all know what to do. The success of your mission is our key to a swift victory. Dude, it's so funny. Like, okay, just for the record, just to show how badass these guys are. Multiple Jedi get killed by General Grievous, and they send a team of these guys to save them. And they succeed. I'm just saying. <laughs> With minimal casualties, mind you. Minimal casualties. I think they only lost a few troopers. Aw, oh, man. This is just hype. Uh, do you think they should have come with blaster rifles shown on the card art? I mean, they probably could have or should have, but it doesn't really bother me too much because the thing is I have plenty of guns. I have plenty of clone trooper guns. I'll arm them up all differently. I mean, one needs a mini gun, right? But I'll keep a couple with the pistols because I think that's cool. Best clone mold? Uh, I mean, it's it's up there. It's a good mold. Uh, definitely doesn't work with the Phase 2 helmet as well as the Phase 1 helmet. Phase 1 helmet, it looks perfectly fine, honestly. Um, I feel like it could have it could have been a little better. Um, but it's, it's not bad. It's, it's not the worst. It could be worse. There we go. Scroll down. So let's take a clone break. Break from opening these guys. Let's open the battle droid. Yeah. Antenna mold is the best still in my opinion. Even though I have to give it to the original Vintage Collection Clone Trooper for being a good one. Sure, it still had a big helmet, but I liked how that articulation worked. I liked that body better. 
especially for phase two. Phase one, I don't know, if, is it just me or are phase one troopers a little more like lean? And uh, phase two, it's probably just me. It's probably just me talking. All right, battle droid. This is the. It's funny. We've been waiting on like a security version of this mold. Like security and commander and pilot, especially commander, because we have the antenna. This is our fourth version of this mold. And it's a Tartakovsky darker color homage. Interesting. Um. So I can tell you right off the bat, this antenna will never be used. Why? Well, it has no reason to even exist. Not unless they make a commander repaint. Which, come on, TVC. Where's our vintage collection OOM9? Where is it? So yeah, I'd say this is pretty solid. Um, I, it, it looks pretty similar to the Geonosis droid. I'll probably display it along with it. Um, but still, man, you know, it's a battle droid. It is a droid of battle. I'll take it. This mold's not the worst. It's not the best. I definitely think they could improve it. But I think I think they're pretty comfortable with the molds that they have in Vintage Collection. They're like, yeah, sure, it's existed for a decade, but we're just going to stick with it. Uh, very rarely do they feel the need to update uh, figures that came out like 10 years ago. So yeah, there's there's a battle droid for the arcs to to totally demolish. So that's exciting. That's a good one. That's epic, actually. It's really epic. Yeah, TVC Bly would be great. Um, okay, let's open a couple more arcs. Let's do it. So I'll have a little squad for now. I'll have a squad, which is fine. I'd like to have all of them, but I gotta wait. Do, 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 Indiana Jones theme song in my head for no reason except it's in my head. Do, 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 do. Hey, have you guys ever heard the absolute banger of a song stuck in Lugia's stomach alone? Ever hear that song? It's a good one. It's actually really good. Because, see, it's actually a, a message about, like, social injustice. Because, see, Pokemon are being eaten. People eat Pokemon. And this guy, he doesn't like it. And he's wondering how he's going to protest. And he has an idea. He goes to Lugia, and he's like, Lugia, eat me. And then he's stuck in Lugia's stomach alone. But it turns out he actually really likes it. He can't keep the smile from his face. Fun fact, I know the most about Pokemon through cringe like that instead of actual Pokemon. Okay, another Arc Trooper. Another Arc Trooper. You know what, let's... Maybe we can get some lights on the go. You guys think that looks better? A little better? I think so. I think so. Let's get some lights going. <clears throat> I'm just going to say it for the record. Uh, sus. People, like, <laughs> I have some co-workers that seriously say, man, that's sus. Ugh. It's cringe to, like, just straight up say it. Like, and have it as a part of your vocabulary. I'm sorry, it's cringy. And now some people may say, oh, it's cringe to have cringe in your vocabulary. Cringe, lord. Eh, you gotta... Are you gonna keep any carded? Yes, um, earlier on, I sorted out and decided these four will be carded. Um, I'm keeping a whole set carded. Uh, I'm still waiting on Luminara and Ayla Sakura, but I should be getting them tomorrow. Um, I'm not going to open that Captain Fordo tonight because I want to wait until I get my other one to see which one of him I should keep carded. <clears throat> but for now, uh, this is what I got. Another Arc Trooper and another face of Fordo. It's so funny. That's so funny that they did that. Still not bad, not bad. Ooh, that one's face is actually like misprinted ever so slightly in the other direction. It's kind of interesting how they do the clones now. It's like they're not fully uh, painted properly. 
I don't think I'm going to cut any of these off in the stream. I'll probably do that. When the stream is over, I'm just going to get... They might actually be useful someday. Um, the, uh, the holsters with the pistols for customs. Because, man, most of these ARC troopers did not have holsters, so... And I'm not really worried, like, oh, then they should have bigger pouches on their side. I, I can't care. I cannot care that, that deeply about a detail that minute. All right, so we got three. That'll do us for the uh, the original ARC Trooper gang from the actual Mission to Monolith. Oh, you can see on this helmet um, how misprinted. You can see from there, even with my poor quality, that's the line the mouth should be on, and it's a little off. I mean, when you get as many as I am, you know, you're going to have ones that aren't perfect. But it's no big deal. It's more about the the group rather than the, uh, the individuals. You know, having all these ARC troopers. Here, I'm, I'm actually going to give you a little... I'm going to adjust the camera so you can see. This is actually how I open vintage collection cards. I have it flat against the table. So you can see I'm having a lot easier of a time with this. Then that's the part where you might bite into it. You gotta be careful. You gotta make sure the knife is raised just a little bit. So you don't make a seam along the card. There we go. Look at that, surgical precision. Surgical precision right there. That's how you open a vintage collection card. Last figure we're opening for the night. I did end up opening all of them. <laughs> all right. I've got tons of bubbles that need recycling. I've got a pile of card backs. Look at that pile of card backs right there. Nice. Noise. Man, I'm hyped. This is hype. This is pretty hype. Just a little bit. TVC Lugia with Justin. Yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'd buy that. Yeah, this helmet's actually... Um, that's interesting. It actually has like a little dimple right there on the, on the visor. Or on the mouth plate, I should say. A little dimple there. Uh, but you can see it's actually printed a little over to that side a little too much. But it's it's honestly not that big of a deal. It still looks fine. It's just so interesting how there's so many uh, inconsistencies for clone trooper helmets. It's like, geez, Hasbro, get your crap together. Get your crap together, Hasbro. Oh, idiots. Yeah, I think I'll probably... Ooh, lost connection for a second there. That's nice. That's good. I'm back. Yeah, there we go. Opened up four of my five ARC Troopers. I'll be getting six more to get have ten total next weekend. <laughs> um, six more, geez. Do I really have the money for this? <laughs> I should be saving more money. But man, this is this is like too near and dear to me to not invest like this. You know, I gotta I gotta get this. I gotta get these. And I'm really happy that I did. You know? I'm happy that I have uh, decided to go down this path and get all of these Tartagovsky clones. Um, I'm pretty excited. I'd say I'm pretty hyped. Very tired. Uh, but yeah, man, this has been a long time coming. Like I said, it, it's they're a dream, honestly. They're a dream to me. Like, look. Oop, disconnected again. Nice. Yeah, dream. You know, like the mask. Yeah, dude, look at these card backs. I can't wait to get Ayla and Luminara tomorrow. Uh, to at least have the set carded <laughs> so I can have them hung up. But, ah, oh, dude. 
I'm surprised there's not a JCC 7567. I'm surprised there's not someone that's kind of uh, rode on the bandwagon. There was someone uh, years and years ago, because I'm I'm JCC 2224. My brother's JCC 1004 for Commander Gree. There was someone else we didn't even know that did JCC 1010 for Commander Fox, and we were like, you're not really a part of this, but okay. <laughs> but yeah... I wear a mask with Lucia's stomach for hours. Oh, my gosh. Oh, no. <clears throat> yeah, look at that. Got some ARC troopers. Got some stuff. Oh, man. I'm going to end the stream in about an hour. Obviously, I don't know if you can tell. I'm getting tired. <laughs> I am not speaking as coherently as I normally do. But, yeah, dude, I'm pretty hyped. I can't wait to get the rest of my ARCs. But for now, I think these four will definitely keep me uh, keep me satisfied. I'm pretty satisfied with these four. I think it's pretty rad. I'm gonna take a sip of my water. Yo, Dripping Ooze, what's up? What's up, Andy? Unfortunately, you're like right near the end of it, but it's okay. I'm here for my Transformers fans. Got this in the P.O. box. A yeah, Bumblebee. What even is this? What is this Bumblebee from? Is it like a whistle? Is that what it is? Nah, no way. No way is it like a whistle. That'd be too stupid. Am I going to put my lips to it, though? I think I might. <sighs> no, fuck no. That is not a whistle, and I just put my lips to this fucking bumblebee. <laughs> oh, jeez, that's disgusting. Yeah, I got no idea what this is supposed to be. Is it a bubble blower? Does it blow bubbles? What? What is it? Maybe it is a bubble blower. Is this a bubble blower? Is this an, a bubble blower action figure? That's what it could be. What do you think? What do you think that is? I don't know. I don't know. Let me know. Let me know what you think. Does it say? 2010 Hasbro Imperial Toy? Imperial Toy. I think Imperial does a lot of bubble blowing stuff. I think this is a bubble blower. I'm, I'm becoming more convinced. So, I mean, look at that. That looks very much like something you blow into. So I think I'm, I think, I think this is a bubble blower. Because Imperial, they do a lot of uh, bubble blowing stuff. I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure. I think this is a Bumblebee bubble blower. A BBBB, -B -B, if you will. Bumblebee bubble blower. Try to say that ten times fast. Bumblebee bubble blower. Bumblebee bubble blower. <laughs> it's too late. It's too late for me to even try. Okay, guys, reaching the end, reaching the end. Um, you guys have any questions for the last uh, last couple minutes here? Try and sell your baldy figure at a pawn shop. Nah, dude, it's not worth it. I just have it in the back of a cringy shelf. It's like the shelf of cringe. It has, like, Minecraft and Five Nights at Freddy's on it. Um... Yeah, I do a swear sometime. I seriously have to, like, put on my sensor when I'm doing videos. I do have the 104th Battle Pack. I've had it for years. What TVC release are you most excited for? Well, it was these. <laughs> it was these. And I'm still most excited for these. Um, even the ones that aren't clones. Uh, but right now, um, I'm excited for the Mandalorian stuff coming up. Uh, like Cosca Reeves and Axe Woves and like the Death Watch Loyalist and the Mandal and the Maldalorian. Cringe shelf reveal. I've, I've done it in my uh, toy. It's in my, like, room tour. It's in there. We'll just have to watch that whole hour-long video. Which story that disrupts some of the Star Wars timeline? Man, I don't know. I don't know the answer to that one. How many gunships you got? Only one! I only have the ARC Trooper gunship. That's the only one I have. I do have Quark Class Soundwave. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. I actually have two of it. I kept one in the box. Because I'm that much of a loser at this point, I guess. I don't know. Something about keeping things in the box. I'm getting a little more into mock collecting. Um, I just... Something about holding the item in the package. It's very satisfying. It's the most recent room tour. What does the J and JCC stand for? I can't remember if you ever explained it. I have explained it. 
Um, basically, if you go in the uh, the intro of any of my new videos, there's the full art made by Fluff of JCC2224. CC stands for Clone Commander. 2224 is Cody. That's Cody's number. The J stands for Jedi. <laughs> when I was a kid, I gave Cody a cape and a lightsaber, and I called him Jedi Clone Commander Cody. So he was JCC2224. Um, and that's my channel mascot, JCC2224. You know, Cody with a lightsaber. <laughs> that's my dumb channel mascot. Jewish Community Center, actually. That's what it stands for. Explain more JCC2224 lore. Oh, yeah, Malak was his Jedi Master. Um, or his Sith Master, I should say, because he turned to the dark side for a little bit. Commander Gree was his Jedi Master. Um, that's some lore for you. If I send you a sonnet, what would you do? Frame it, hang it, display it proudly. Uh, make sure no human hands will ever touch it. What clone toy did you dream of having as a kid? Um, Commander Bly is one that I wanted real bad. And I ended up getting him. Uh, but, man, I wanted Bly so bad. Um, wanted the Republic Commandos real bad. Um, I mean, obviously, I've basically got all of the clone troopers at this point, right? The only ones I'm missing are dumb variants that don't even really matter. <laughs> um... But honestly, figures like these, these ARC Troopers, those are the kind of things that I'd love to get, um, that I would have loved as a kid. I just imagine, man, if these were released in a four-pack. Or if, oh, remember old battle packs? How they were, uh, oh my gosh, I'm ruining everything. How they were five figures? There's a Hunt for Grievous battle pack, right? But imagine if nowadays they did a uh, an ARC Trooper battle pack where you get five, you get four ARCs and then Captain Fordo, that'd be amazing. Uh, dude, I'm really hoping they do army builder packs for clones like they did with the uh, um, Stormtrooper, Shore Trooper, Rebel Fleet Trooper. I'm really hoping they do a clone pack. Or two or three, you know. I'd appreciate as many as they give me. Um, I just, I want the clones. I remember one time I was at some pizza place and some random kid brought a bunch of Lego clones in a bag, but he gave them lightsabers. They were talking about Jedi code. He reminds me of that. That's amazing. TVC ARF Trooper. That would be cool. I have this inhibitor chip for hours. At, oh, my gosh. I have this inhibitor chip for hours at a time. Oh, man, that mask song is the worst. What's your best clone find in general? Um, geez, Louise on a cheese sandwich. <laughs> I don't know, man. I got a lot of them for retail price back when they came out. Probably the Arc Trooper Battle Pack, though. That was really hard to get even when it came out. I only got it for 30 bucks. <laughs> that was probably one of the best. Um, dude basically just charged me cost plus shipping. <laughs> so... I definitely got hooked up there. Um, battle droids wear a mask, too. Yep, actually, they wear clone helmets. I wear a mask with a smile for hours at a time. Can a battle droid wear a clone helmet? Yes! Look at that. Look at him. Amazing. <laughs> That's how it goes. If you swap the heads for TVC Kylo and Solo 5 POA Kylo, you have a superior Kylo. I did do a head swap. Um, I I need to look into that Solo one. But I had I have two uh, articulated Kylo Rens. One is masked and the other is unmasked. I wear a mask. Oh my gosh. Memes are the worst. I hate memes, but I can't look away. And he found Hunt for the Septicons of the Fallen at Goodwill and the surprising he still had the face mask, but he's missing his staff. Who cares about the staff, man? You got the mask. I wear a mask with a smile. A battle droid wear a clone helmet for hours at a time. Fortnite Balls by Kanye East. <sighs> okay, I think it's time to end it. Thank you all so much for an amazing little stream here. I figured I had to open these on camera. Absolutely had to. Uh, definitely happy that I did because, hey, got tons of awesome stuff. Let's go. 
I gotta, here, you gotta stay with me though. Because I gotta clean up my mess. I still have bubble wrap to pop. I'm gonna do it off camera though, and I'm not gonna pop pop it, but I mean, that's a lot. Still gotta cut all this. Because I need some, I need some entertainment. I need to talk to you guys while I do this. You hear the screams? Take it easy, Mr. JCC. Have a good one. Be safe. Oh, you too, action figure expert. You too. I made a naked Peter Griffin action figure. I do not need that. I hate Family Guy. This may this may explain why I am not a big fan of the meme entertainment. Like, I hate to say it, half of the comments you guys are saying, I'm just going to roast you, are not funny whatsoever. <laughs> like, I hate Family Guy. I hate that kind of humor. It's not funny. Family Guy is awful. Um, but yeah, you guys need to step up the humor a little bit. I'm just, I'm just saying. Gotta step it up. You guys are slacking. You guys need to get funnier. Yo, I'm I'm uh, finishing this stream right where it began. I'm sure no one was here when it began. Uh, I fixed OOM9. He fell, so I fixed him. There he is. I mean, we just need him in this mold. Come on, what are we doing? Um, do you smell your freshly opened figures? I do. I did earlier in the stream. I, I gave one a whiff. Uh, they, dude, Hasbro Star Wars figures have smelled the same for so many years, and it's so great. Something about that fresh plastic. Ooh, amazing. Simply amazing. Simply divine. One thing that I'm disappointed with nowadays, though, is that fresh figures never put on the pegs already come punched. It's kind of a letdown. I actually feel like there is, I mean, there is a punch, but it's probably so thin and easy to punch. They probably take care of it in the factory. But man, I just, I miss the unpunchedness. You know, I'm like, oh, unpunched. I've got a few figures unpunched. And let me tell you, it's, uh, it's nice. All right, there we go. Ran it a little bit longer, but I'm going to get off. Thank you all so much for tuning in to another beautiful live stream. Uh, have a good night, everyone. Uh, stay safe, and I hope you can get some ARC Troopers if you want some. Because they are sublime. Simply sublime. Simply incredible. Uh, have a good night. Stay safe. Don't let the bed bugs bite, because they're... <sighs> Thankfully, I've never had to deal with bed bugs. Thankfully. But they do not seem very pleasant. All right, I'm probably going to go to sleep. <laughs> I'm pretty tired. I'll see you guys. Bye.